back from lunch. Look at this, you're only an hour late. What'd you do, huh? Comb your hair? <laughs> well, time does fly when you're having fun. So, Roman, how long have we been talking now? 20 minutes? <laughs> uh, you're not filling out your own time cards again, are you, Lou? No, Joe, I'm, I'm sorry I'm late, but Josh and I had some very important things to talk about. Oh, your Harvard boyfriend is in town, huh? What, did he regale you with tales about being a coxswain for the crew team? I am so sorry I ever mentioned that. Yeah, well, I can only imagine what you've told him about me. Well, actually, Joe, it's one of the few things you can't imagine. Nothing. <laughs> no, no, come on, you can tell me. I mean, you must talk about me. Never. <laughs> what do you talk about, then? Well... This is gonna come as a huge shock to you, but it's possible for people all over the planet to carry on entire conversations without ever mentioning the name Joe Roman. <laughs> all right, fine. If you don't want to tell me, you don't have to. <laughs> Thanks. Sure. But you know, that's not gonna stop me from giving you a little friendly advice here. You should dump this stiff. Oh, really? And why is that? Because I know women, okay? And you want more than this guy can offer. You want a commitment. Oh, this is interesting. Please, go on, Professor. All right, fine. I also know men. And to Josh, you're always just going to be more of a weekend distraction. Okay, so to recap, you know women and you know men. Is there anything you don't know? Mm, no. Uh. <laughs> Look, you have no future with this guy, Lou. He's just leading you on. Hey, Joe, how are we stocked on... The... Oh, my God, Lou, is that an engagement ring on your finger? <laughs> Josh just asked me to marry him. Oh! <laughs> Okay, this guy's good. <laughs> Been a long time out of touch, but in the end it don't mean much. Cause I am still connected to you. I, yeah, you've been out there on your own, maybe feeling all alone. But deep inside, I thought that you knew. So tell me everything. What did he say? What did you say? Oh, I still can't believe you're engaged. Well, I'm not Mrs. Hamilton just yet. Josh just wanted me to wear the ring until I was able to... <laughs> oh, let me guess. He wants you to wear the ring as a symbol. Blah, blah, blah. No point in setting a date right away. Blah, blah. The important thing is that you know that he cares. Blah. <laughs> he didn't buy you a ring, Lou. He bought himself a little time. Josh wants to get married right after graduation. Blah, blah, blah. I said I didn't know, blah, blah. And he said to wear the ring until next week when I could give him my answer. Blah. So I was right about the blah part. <clears throat> so, tell us more. Did he get down on one knee and what were his exact words? Well, he said a lot of things, but mainly that he thought together our whole could be greater than the sum of our parts. Pardon me, I'm getting a little misty back here. Um, I haven't heard anything that beautiful since the Pythagorean theorem. So, and then he slipped the ring on my finger and told me that he couldn't imagine his future without me in it. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah, well, uh, what can I say, huh? Congratulations. I'm sure you two will be very happy together. <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> so, do you think Lou will get married? I don't know, Claire. There are many more important things going on in this world. Hey, I'm only one box stop away from getting my free Cat Crusader mask. You see? A little boy's dream is coming true over here. <laughs> I already sent away for that mask. And why are we still eating this cr crunchy cereal? Because <laughs> I want to get one for Joe, too, so we can fight crime together. <laughs> no offense, pal. I'm not really the Cat Crusader type. <laughs> Wait, you see it, Joe? He gives you all the superpowers of Cat Crusader. He has the ear-piercing wine, he's very clean, and he can't get rid of him because he keeps coming back. Wait a minute. You're not Cat Crusader, are you? <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> Matt, would you pick up frozen yogurt on your way home from school today? Sorry, Mom, I'm not going to Yogurt Town anymore. Jeff Lambert hangs out there now. And Yogurt Town ain't big enough for the both of you? <laughs> no, Jeff and his friends rag on everyone who goes in there. I know they were talking about me the last time I went in. Really? What did they say? I couldn't make out all of it, but I definitely heard the phrase mushroom head and a lot of laughter. <laughs> so Matt, just say something smart mouth back. What would you say if somebody called you a, a helmet head? I'd say, uh, what'd you say? <laughs> well, you know, timing is everything. Not for me. 
I always think of the perfect put down a week later. Are you kidding me, Matt? You put yourself down all day long. <laughs> You're an expert, pal. Just think of what you'd say to you and turn it around. You mean take my self-loathing and make it work for me? <laughs> Who knows what can happen if you harness a power like that, buddy? That could work. Could. Just follow exactly what I'm telling you and you'll be fine, okay? Thanks, Joe. So what about Lou? You think she's gonna get married? I don't know. I try to stay out of other people's business. <laughs> okay, next one. Mm -hmm. A Nobel Prize winner of 1913. Ugh. Uh, ten letters. La Fontaine. Henri La Fontaine of Belgium. Wow, that fits. Okay, next one. A popular 50s sitcom. I blank Lucy. <laughs> I blank Lucy? That's pretty risque for the 50s. What could it be? I think it's love, Lloyd. I care about you too, Matt. <sighs> All right, we're done. No crossword, too tough. Hey, Lou, since when does it take an hour to install a fuel pump, huh? No, Joe, I finished that a half an hour ago. Now I'm working on the manifolds. Since when does it take an hour to install a manifold, huh? Joe, I have a pair of needle nose pliers in my hand. You want me to go ahead and see if I can get that bug out? <laughs> I don't need any of your sass, all right? Sass? Excuse me, who are you, my Aunt Matilda? You know what I mean. No, Joe, I don't have a clue. Well, get one. I'm thinking five. From what? Do you believe her? She just sassed me. Did you hear her sass me? I was horrified. Let's call her parents. Shut the door. What is going on with you? Me? What about her, huh? Ever since she slipped that ring on her finger, it's like cut the flow of blood off to her brain. Joe, this is a very important decision for Lou. You know, she's got a lot of things to figure out. What's the figure? Rich guy, probably has a loving family, put him through Harvard, he has a great career ahead of him. It's a no-brainer, Claire. He's what every woman wants. Well, I don't know about that. If this is exactly what she wants, she's certainly taking her sweet time deciding. Yeah, but don't you see? She's got to drag it out, you know? The flower arrangements, the invitations, poor Andy balancing a ring on a pillow, dressed in a baby tuxedo, looking like Herve Villachez. <laughs> Well, she hasn't said yes yet. Maybe she wants some more information. What's that supposed to mean? Joe, this is the hardest decision this girl's made in her life. It seems to me that maybe she's giving you an opportunity to let her know how you feel about it. Feel, feel about it? <laughs> what kind of girl universe am I living in here? I don't have any feelings about this. Well, then if you really don't care, maybe she needs to know that too. Okay, fine. That's information that I can give her. <clears throat> Lou! Uh. I don't care. About what, Joe? I don't care. <laughs> what kind of oil are you putting in that Chevy? 30 or 40, wait. Well, gee, Joe, thanks for clearing that up. Maybe I can actually get some sleep tonight. And I'm really sorry I sassed you. <laughs> Look, look, if you got something to say, why don't you just say it to my face? Because then we'd have to look at you. <laughs> you know, Jeff, <laughs> time's up. You lose. Feel free to play again when you get a personality. <laughs> or maybe I could borrow yours, since you're obviously not using it. <laughs> and shouldn't you be home perfecting the schoolgirl giggle? <laughs> oh, by the way, the Joker called. He wants his hair back. He sounded mad. No, you're me. Sit down. I'm telling you, it's like I finally found that thing I'm good at. I'm in. I sat around and I just thought of all the mean things I gotta say about myself, turn them around and use them on other people. I thought the idea was to stand up to these kids, not to sit down and join them. But they're not that bad once you get to know them. It's here. It's finally here. What is he talking about, huh? I stopped asking myself that a long time ago and I'm a lot happier for it. Gee, Mom, I thought it was Prozac. Put on bone. <laughs> Matt, what is it, Andy? My cat mask. Well, it's an awfully big box. Yeah. Don't worry, Joe. Use it in the mail. Don't tease me, Andy. <laughs> That's it? That's what you've been waiting for? Hey, maybe they sent you a gnat mask by mistake. Put on bone. <laughs> I can't believe how many boxes of that chocolate gravel we had to eat to get this piece of... cardboard. That's okay, Mom. I like it. I'm a cat crusader. Meow! But it doesn't 
doesn't even cover your face. I mean, it's not even big enough for a seven-year-old. Oh, Claire, Claire, wait, I think the important thing is that Andy likes it, you know? No, no, the important thing is that we have been ripped off by big business. I mean, come on, it looks like they poked two holes in a piece of toilet paper. I'm gonna keep this mask as a symbol of corporate deception, and I'm gonna ram it down their throats. Can I play with it first? <laughs> no, honey. Nobody disappoints my kid and gets away with it. Lou, are you done with the Chevy yet? Yes, Joe, I am done with the Chevy. Great. Let's hear how it sounds. Lou! Oh, beautiful! You know, this might be complicated for a real mechanic, but we usually reattach this radiator hose before we let it go out of the shop. Joe, I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. Let me guess, huh? Mrs. Josh Hamilton? Mrs. Lou Hamilton? Mr. and Mrs. Joshua Hamilton of the Boston Hamiltons? Joe, it was a mistake. It was a mistake that could have cost my life, Lou. How? I'm driving down the turnpike. Steam starts billowing. I can't see anything. Maybe there's another car that you fixed coming towards me. It's billowing, too. An 18-wheeler swerves to avoid us. Too late, we all pancake, but that's okay because you're Mrs. Josh Hamilton. Maybe you name a kid after me. Mommy, why did you name me Joe? <laughs> Just the guy I killed. Eat your eggs, Benedict, honey. So is that what this is about? This is about Josh? Look, why don't you do everyone a favor, okay? And go and get married and go live in your perfect little white picket-fenced house because there is no room for someone as incompetent as you in a garage. Okay, fine, I will. But you know what? I can't believe it took a jerk like you to make me realize how lucky I am to have Josh. Did you see what she did? She almost killed me. I've almost killed you numerous times. I had no idea you felt so strongly about it. Oh, oh the ugly side of fall fashion. <laughs> Looks like he's on his way to Ronald McDonald's funeral. <laughs> you are so mean. <sighs> Thanks. Hey, what's he doing at a yogurt shop? I know, shouldn't he be at a fast food place screaming, faster, faster? Gee, I didn't know you could order the entire store to go. Oh. <laughs> the little one better eat up fast before the big guy inhales. Come on, Andy. Lloyd, this man. Leave him alone, he's with his friends. <laughs> yeah. Lloyd, can I talk to you for a second? Come in. Look, I'm sorry about my friends. They didn't mean anything honest, they're just jerks sometimes. No, they're your friends. I mustn't put them down. Friends are important. Yeah, well, I didn't want you to be mad or anything. If I got mad every time somebody made a joke at my expense, I'd have to go around mad at the world. I didn't make any jokes, Lloyd. I didn't say you did. Good. All right. Brought the crossword puzzle. Let's see, I need a five-letter uh, word. Uh, maybe later. I'm uh, kind of busy right now. Oh, sure. No problem, but later. Hi. Don't worry, I'm not going to be much longer. I just like to work well, I think. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I mean, I'd hate to think the only reason you were going to get married is because you were mad at me. It's not. Good. <laughs> hey, what are you working on there? It's a ring for Josh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, look, it's got all the ancient symbols. There's love and eternity, man and woman. Huh. Those Greeks must have had some weird-looking typewriters, huh? <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Ah, thank you. <laughs> I don't know who I'm kidding. Josh is going to hate it. He doesn't really go in for that homemade stuff. He's a little more upscale. Wait a minute, Lou. Come on, you, you made this. I mean, you put a lot of thought and love into it. Heck, I'd much rather have something you made from the heart than the most expensive ring from Tiffany's. You know, if I were him. I mean, not really much to ring to myself. <laughs> yep, give me a big old medallion any day. <laughs> So you really think he's going to like it? Are you kidding me? There's part of you in that ring. And he loves you, right? Yeah. Yeah, he does. You love him? Well, you know I'm going to marry him. I envy you, you know? You found that all-consuming, passionate kind of love. Yeah. Sometimes you can hardly stand to be in the same room as that person because the hate between you is just so intense that... Uh, Yeah, I am one lucky girl. <laughs> Absolutely. 
So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna give it to him tomorrow. And if he likes it, then I'll know for sure that we were meant to be together. Are you kidding me? He's gonna love that. Thanks. Anytime. The mask doesn't even look like the one you pictured. It doesn't even look like Cat Crusader. It looks like Cardboard Boy. <laughs> yeah, Cardboard Boy. It's not that bad, really. No, I didn't read the fine print. No one reads the fine print because you print it so damn fine. Can I play with, play with it? Yeah, well, when I was a kid, I sent away for things, too, but they were good things. Yeah, in fact, I got a Josie and the Pussycats lunchbox once, and you know what? I still have that thermos, and it still keeps cold things cold and hot things... All right, I'll hold. <laughs> it's okay, honey. Mommy's gonna make sure your little voice is heard. Can I please play with a mask? Shh, I can't hear. <laughs> what? Send it back? Oh, you bet your whiskers I'll send it back. <laughs> I will do anything it takes to make my little boy happy. <laughs> Hey, Andy. What's wrong? All I want is my cat crusader mask. Well, at least you know what you want. Hey, Lloyd. You brought the crossword puzzle for us. Oh, uh, sorry, Matt. I, I already did it. But we always do it together. Sorry? Oh, come on, Lloyd. Is this about yesterday? You said yourself I didn't do anything. You didn't. You acted like I was invisible. And believe me, that takes some acting. <laughs> you see? Even I can't help making jokes. You know, I'm so large, I have my own zip code, area code, gravitational pull. You want to hear some more? I've heard them all. No, they're not funny. Really? Sorry if I offended you. Lloyd, I would never say anything to hurt your feelings. And maybe it's something you didn't say. Lou, how'd it go last night, huh? Did uh, Josh like the ring? He loved it. You were right. See? You know how I love to be right. <laughs> you told him yes? Yeah. Andy, I made you a present. What? What? A Cat Crusader mask. Wow! Kill me eight times and call me for dinner. <laughs> now this is a Cat Crusader mask. Good. Thanks, Lou. You're welcome. I, uh, I made one for you, too. Now, it's no medallion, but with the right chain. Ooh, you're right. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Thanks. It's really sweet. I made the kid happy. He must be psychic. No, he just told me what he wanted. Look, Lou. Hey, hey you look great. Oh, thanks. I've been uh, working out a little bit, so... <laughs> Hi, oh, Josh. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Um, you remember Joe? Yeah, how you doing? Hey. Look, we made a reservation for one o'clock, so we should probably get going. Okay, all okay? right. Hey. What? Where's your ring? What ring? The ring that I made for you. Oh, I, I didn't know I had to wear it all the time. I just thought it was for when we went somewhere fun. No, I wanted you to have a ring for me. That is so sweet. <laughs> no, but I bought this one along with yours, so we could both have nice rings. Well, okay. that, that, that's a good idea. All right. Shall we, Mrs. Hamilton? Um, yeah, you know what? Why don't you go on ahead and I'll just meet okay. you later because I got some stuff that I have to finish up here. Okay, I'll see you there. Okay. Okay. Bye. Lou? You okay? I can't marry him, Joe. Why? Because he thinks my ring is stupid. It's who I am and he thinks it's stupid. Wait a minute now, come on. A ring isn't who you are. I, I mean, uh, you know. Is that Josh? <laughs> yes. Shiny, it's top of the line, and it's perfect. Only not for me. Really? I can't do it. I can't do it, Joe. I can't marry him. Oh, God, the ring won't come off. <laughs> it's probably some sort of sign that I'm destined to marry Josh. The hell it is! <laughs> Come here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Here we, here we go. Oh, <laughs> see? There you go. Here. Thanks. Sure. <laughs> I gotta go tell Josh. Yeah. Catch a whiff of Mr. Hughes' cologne. Somebody crack a window. <laughs> Fudge brownie yogurt. <laughs>
That's healthy. At least he's down to one scoop. <laughs> hey, Matt, what's wrong? I want you guys to know something. That guy you're making fun of is my friend, Lloyd. What's the deal? You keep him around for shade? <laughs> it's not funny. Yes, it is. Somebody must have stolen your sense of humor. Or ate it. <laughs> you know what? I just figured something out about you guys. The only reason people are trying to be friends with you is because they're afraid of what you're going to say about them. But really? You're just a bunch of jerks. If we're such jerks and you're hanging around with us, what does that make you? A jerk. But Lloyd... Lloyd is my friend. Actually, he's more like family. And no one, no one makes fun of my family. Hey, what's up? Uh, we'll have two chocolate cones, please, and a saucer of milk for my crime-fighting buddy over here, okay? <laughs> hey, Roman, aren't those your brothers? No. I need a three-letter word for a stubborn mule. Three letters? Joe. I believe it's ass. Ah, tomato, tomato. Maybe it's Lou, huh? <laughs> Come on, Lou? L-O... you? Timing is everything, Joe.